close to 80 horsepower right there. Or at what? 430 pounds, 450 pounds. Wow, we that's some snorting horsepower. Loudon gonna bring him down. Elton on the outside. Cook underneath Elton into three. Boy, you can just see that three. It's just like a bucking bull. Yeah, almost needs like an axle stabilizer. That thing is just hopping. Loudon. Kind of cool. See that unburnt fuel burning up in the exhaust. There's the halfway. Joe Penitel Carding. Denair, California, the 33. Your defending champ, Michael Loudon. Wow, Loudon getting it done. And it's a one pretty ride as well. There's the white flag, one to go. Ford Cook. Just about a half a track behind, Loudon putting them down. There it is. So, Cook gonna bring it home in second. And I, you know, I didn't actually see what started that mess in turn number one but uh, so I don't know Angel got involved so I'm not sure if it was from the back or what happened but I guess I don't know how she go around but that's a tough blow hopefully uh, nothing terminal there on the one well that that's gonna wrap up our first rounds there well it still starts Walsh says yeah I'll I'll get in there and drive it home. Heck yeah. Race it, that's right. Well somebody somebody said they always they always handle better after you crash them anyway, so so I don't know, but uh I'm surprised that Chase didn't have more damage than what he had. That was uh but really the concern now is the nine because he took a pretty hard lick there. Uh, because he was wailing in there, that's got to be a that's got to be a helpless feeling getting into right get in the corner and have nothing and just that thing going straight. That's a and there's no uh, you know what handles in those things, so it's hang on. Who won the first what, Stephen? There's two heats and. Uh, Well, it was, uh, let's see how it goes here. U.S. results, uh, Stansbury was out. He went out early in, uh, in that uh, first round of heat races. I don't know what happened. Looked like Awful Ford just, just died. Uh, so, yeah, he's okay. Um, the thing just went straight into turn three. It didn't turn at all, so... Um, uh, so it went t down. Berg wins uh, the first flight, and uh, Shane Smith was second. Flight two was uh, the Hitman, and Jason Gibb, the runner-up, uh, the third flight was uh, Joe Stackman. 
And uh, Scott Smith was second. Fourth flight went to Michael Loughton. And your runner-up was Ford Cook. The first flight was Brad Berg. The second flight was Diotti. The third was Stackman. The fourth was Loughton. Well, Stephen, I've been over him four times. So listen up, my man. Second round is coming up. Yes, indeedy. Berg won the first one. Diotti won the second one. Stansberry, hopefully uh, nothing's terminal on the seven. It looked like it just died on the star, lost power or something. So, but uh, yes, Nadine, the rocket's okay. He got out on his own, and uh, but but it looked like it took a pretty uh, good hit in the front. So, but uh, he is okay. I'm telling you, that's just heat race action. That's pretty awesome. But here's the deal. It even gets awesomer because round two is a complete invert. So hang on. So the hitman, they had a little something, something they were going to do. It looked like it helped. So those of you just tuning in, uh, Eric Sansbury took the pole with a 10-178. Diotti was second quick with a 10-252. Stephen Chase with a 321. Loughton fourth with a 364. Berg with a 486. Gibb with a 509. Cox with a 583. And Renee Angel with a 593. How's that for close? Doesn't get much closer than that. And uh, Schmitz in the 116 goes a 673. A 6.97 for Pasanetti, a 732 for Stackman, a 751 for Atkinson, and a 968 for Bowles, and a 989 for Scott Smith. Hello. Tell me that isn't tough. 14 will start the A main. Yes, it is. It's going to be more than a barn burner. That's going to be a warehouse burner right there. All right. So, uh, the 7 is still good, it says. Uh, the 9, brake lines. The 83 says, old guy out of practice. And uh, the 43 says, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Quotes from the drivers. Thank you, Chris Buller. Hey, your boy's right there, man. He, he just says he's old, but uh, I don't buy it. He might be playing possum like you taught him, I'm sure. But 14 are going to start the A main. This second round of uh, heat races is um, going to be a complete invert. And yes, Loughton was definitely getting some. Trevor, he was, uh, yeah, getting it. So was Berg. He is my uh, under the radar sleeper pick for the BK. And uh, my roving reporter out in the field, the uh, the strike man, Mr. Scott McDowell, Scott Sealcoat. So, uh, Keith Ballman, where are you where are you listening in from, man? Tim Gilman in the house, right on. Thanks for listening. Those of you just joined in, we're live on speaker BK7 Buddha Kinzer Memorial, the seventh annual. Salem Speedway, Salem Fairgrounds, and uh, we just finished up round one of uh, our uh, qualifying heat races. Uh, 
Uh, I believe it's four, Josh. I think four are going to transfer uh, from uh, the B to the A. I think it. I'm not sure. Don't count it. Oh, St. Louis, right on. So hopefully, uh, you know the wizard Jason Gibb going to work on the uh, on the old Bam Bam 250. Those of you that know Buller knows that stands for uh, power. They're they're no stranger to getting that for sure. And then we're just waiting for scoring to kind of uh, get squared away. Appreciate everybody listening in. Like I said, we have the uh, GM coming up on Wednesday night uh, from the Evergreen Speedway. You late model fans, if you like that stuff, uh, we'll have him on. We're going to be doing an hour long talking about uh, the Evergreen Speedway, the big 5.8. It's been there forever and a day. And then um, on the 11th, um, we'll get a call from uh, Dave Goulet, a car chief for one of the ARCA teams. And he'll be calling in live from Daytona, giving us all the updates of what's going on back there during uh, Daytona Speed Week. And then on the the next week, I think is the 18th, is uh, Garth Mulkey will join us from the Nitro Radish uh, World Formula Pro Series. And uh, that's a regional series they got going on that uh, pays 400 to win for the uh, World Formula guys. So 800 bucks you can win in a weekend. And um, it's... It's pretty cool. So he'll be joining us, seeing, talking about where he sees uh, the Nitro Radish Series going and World Formula Racing and four strokes in general. And then on the 28th, you don't want to miss that. We have uh, marketing at full speed with uh, Anna Marie Strahan. She'll be on hand to uh, answer questions about sponsorships, how, what you should be doing. Uh, she's got, if you go to uh, marketing at fullspeed.com, she's got all kinds of free cool uh forms and uh, templates and stuff that you can use to help your race team pick up some money to uh, go racing. So that should be uh, pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to that. And Rocket, your daughter is uh, sending messages. She just wants you to know she loves you and to be safe. So fix those brake lines. And uh, West Snow in the house. He was down at the uh, Holiday Classic and so it was good to see him come out and uh, hang out there. So, yeah, and I, I know that uh, last couple weeks ago Scott Warning called in and said uh, the first unlimited all-star race at Route 68 which is going to be the home of the uh, UAS Grand Nationals this season is on April 28th, and uh, he was on the show early on giving uh, little pointers here and there, tires and stagger and proximate gear to those that are going to go back uh, to the UAS uh, Grand Nationals. That's not until way September, but hey. Failing to plan is planning to fail, so you got to start early. Awesome stuff. Racecast Live. We're on Spreaker. You can check it out. www.spreaker.com. And uh, pretty cool stuff. Check that out. Be sure you stop by for me and follow me. And uh, and, and, and like the page if, if you like what's going on. Because if you follow, no junk mail guaranteed. You'll just get a, you just get a notice uh, each and every time that uh, we go live. And uh, feel free, give me some feedback. Is there something you'd like to hear on the show? Somebody you think uh, is deserving uh, to be on the show? Please let me know. Because um, I want to, uh, this it's for you guys. I want it to be uh, you know, informational as well as entertaining. So, Tim Lawrence? No, he did not. I think they're, uh, it sounded, it didn't sound too good, but I don't know if it's terminal yet. haven't got a word there. We'll see what McDowell can get from the Tim Lawrence camp, but 